So I don't need to tell you right now that the Flames are in absolute limbo with a bunch of guys who either are on the fence about staying or leaving or straight up told the team, hey, I'm not re-signing after this year, goodbye. So a large portion of the fan base, myself included, have been saying trade these guys as soon as you can. You do not want to walk into the season with these guys one year left on their deals because then they're going to walk for nothing and you're going to have a repeat of the Johnny Gaudreau situation. Trade them now. But now the summer's almost over, training camps will be here before you know it, so it's looking more and more likely that Hannafin, Lindholm, and Michael Backlund are all going to start the season with the Flames, and if they're competing, they're in a playoff spot at the trade deadline, they're probably not going to trade these guys. And a lot of Flame fans that I've talked to think that that's an absolute joke. And oh, it's funny, some of them even said that's a fireable offense for Craig Conroy, which is funny because he's been on the job for what, two months, three months? But for me, I'm torn now because... I was really on the train of trade these guys as soon as possible. Let's move forward without guys who don't want to be here or who are already trying to book their flights to go play with the Florida Panthers. I don't want that. But I also understand the sentiment of, look, in the summer, teams aren't going to be giving the Flames their best offers for a guy like Noah Hannafin or even a big fish like Elias Lindholm. You got to wait till the season until a team that's meant to be contending or going deep in the playoffs has a key injury or gets off to a really slow start, loses a bunch of games, and then they're desperate. Then they'll come to their best offers with the Flames. And that seems to be the plan for this team going forward is, okay, well, we're going to try to convince them to stay, and if they don't, we're going to get our best offers in November anyways. Similar to what Joe Sackick did with the Matt Duchesne trade. But here's my problem with that. What if the better offers never come? What if trade deadline comes and goes, and the Flames are sitting there waiting at the altar for the best offer to come through, and they've just wasted any chance of getting anything for these guys? That's when this would be an absolute joke, because you learned, for quote-unquote learned from the Johnny Gaudreau thing, only to have the same thing happen. Could you imagine if it happened with multiple players, Lindholm, Hannafin, and or Backlund? Then this would be a complete joke. But for right now, I'm okay with waiting a little bit, you know, taking a breath, all right, the offer's gonna get a little bit better, but you have to set an internal deadline, and it has to be relatively soon. The internal deadline can't be in February, because then you're gonna be psyching yourself out like, actually, we're good right now, we can compete for the cup, and oh, maybe if we go deep in the playoffs, these guys will wanna stay. So if I'm the Flames, I'm saying, you know what, December 1st, if these guys aren't budging on December 1st, I'm going to start shipping these guys off no matter what's going on because I need value for them for the future of the franchise. And honestly, preferably, it would be even earlier than that. The time to play kumbaya with these guys and let them, oh, take your time, whatever you want to do, that's gone. It's time to be a little cutthroat and take a page out of Vegas's book. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.